The UK and India are very different countries. The cost of living in the UK is 179% higher compared to what it is in India as an average. Rent, however, is 489% higher in the UK. In regards to square mileage, India is 13 and a half times larger than the UK. But as a quantity surveying channel, we wanted to see if there are any differences relating to our profession too. But before we start, I'd like to introduce a very special guest. Akhil from the Quantity Surveying Studio has kindly agreed to join us in a quantity surveying comparison between the UK and India. His channel is in the description below, so whilst you're clicking the subscribe button for us, which I hope you'll consider, open the description box and subscribe to the Quantity Surveying Studio also. In this video, we'll be answering the following questions. What are the progressional quantity surveying job titles in the UK and India? What is the average salary at each stage? How many quantity surveyors work in the UK and India? What is the male-female split within this sector? What's the average age of a QS? How many hours on average will a QS work in both countries? What chartership options are available for quantity surveys in the UK and India? And finally, what are the dominant contract types within each country? So let's start with the quantity surveying titles. In the UK, the usual route is Apprentice or Trainee QS, Graduate or Assistant QS, Quantity Surveyor, Senior Quantity Surveyor, Managing Quantity Surveyor, and Commercial Manager. In India, the career route of a QS is similar to most of the other countries. Their role starts as a Trainee or Junior QS, they move on to become an Assistant QS or QS, then Senior QS, after that Course Manager, and finally, commercial manager. What is the average salary at each stage? Based on the information from Glassdoor, a website where employees anonymously submit their salaries, in the UK, an apprentice or trainee QS is £17,500 or 18 lakh rupees. Assistant or graduate QS is £27,500 or 28 lakh rupees. Quantity surveyor salary is £39,000 or 39 lakh rupees. Senior QS salary is 54,000 pounds, or 54 lakh rupees. Managing QS salary, 65,500, or 66 lakh rupees. And finally, commercial manager salary is 71,000, or 72 lakh rupees. The average salary of a QS starts with 2.5 to 3 lakh rupees per annum in the entry level. For a QS in the early career, the salary shall be somewhere between 3 to 5 lakh rupees per annum. In the mid-career stage, the salary range is between 5 to 8 lakh rupees per annum. In their late career, a QS can expect to get something around 8 to 10 lakh rupees per annum. And finally, a very experienced QS earns 10 to 15 lakh rupees per annum. How many quantity surveyors work in the respective country? According to Statistica.com, there are approximately 47,000 quantity surveyors working in the UK. There are approximately 20,000 plus quantity surveyors working in India as per LinkedIn, but the actual numbers are definitely higher. What is the male-female QS ratio? In the UK, 42,000 quantity surveyors are male, and 5,000 quantity surveyors are female. This results in a split of 89.5% male and 10.5% female. In India, the percentage split is 80 to 85 percentage male and 15 to 20 percentage female. How many hours on average will a QS work in both countries? According to CareerSmart, the average working hours for a quantity surveyor in the UK is 36 hours. Although, from personal experience, I would say it's between 40 and 50 hours per week. From my experience, the average working hours in India for a QS is around 45 to 50 hours per week. What chartership options are available for a QS? The main chartership option for a quantity surveyor in the UK is RICS. Recently, CICES has also become prominent. In India also the main chartership option is from RICS. What is the most dominant contract type? In the UK we mainly use two contracts, JCT and NEC. 
with JCT being the most used at present. ACA, FIDIC, and CIOB are also used but at much less frequency. Mostly bespoke contracts are used in the Indian construction industry. Every project is different and the contractual conditions are more aligned with the client's requirement. We hope this has given you an insight into the similarities and differences between quantity surveying in the UK and India. But if you feel you can add to the list, we'd love to see your comments below. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.